Welcome to Atis Education. Today we are going to solve practice set 5. Here we are going to do operations on the integers. Means addition and subtraction of integers. The first question is add and in that question there are 6 sub questions. So let's start to solve the practice set 5 practice set 5 and the question number 1 is add the first sub question in question number 8 is 8 plus 6 8 plus 6 Remember, when we adding integers with the same sign, it, we have to ignore the signs and just add that number and then give the common sign to their sum. So, 8 plus 6 is 14, the sum of 8 plus 6 is 14 and the common sign is plus because these numbers are positive numbers so we have to put here plus sign or we can write also here only 14 both ways are right then the second question is 9 plus minus 3 now look here here 9 is a positive number and 3 is a negative number and we have to add that both numbers. So when adding integers with different signs, ignore the signs and subtract the smaller number from greater number. So here is the smaller number 3 and greater number is 9. So we have to subtract 9 sorry subtract 3 from 9 and the difference between 9 minus 3 is 6 now look at the 9 it is a positive number and it is a greater number so we give here a greater numbers sign before the difference obtained so the answer is plus 6 now, third question. It is a 5 plus minus 6. Now, look here. Now, here is a smaller number which is positive and bigger number which is negative. When adding this type of numbers, we have to subtract smaller number from the bigger one. So first of all we have to write 6 minus 5 and the difference between 6 minus 5 is 1. Now we have to look towards the bigger number which sign does it have. So it have a minus sign means it is a negative number so we have to put a minus sign before our answer. Now, the fourth question is minus 7 plus 2. Minus 7 plus 2. Here also, two different integers. So, ignore the sign and Subtract the smaller number from bigger. So here is a subtraction 7 minus 2. And the answer is 5. Now look at the bigger number. It's 7. And the sign it have is minus. So we have to put here minus sign before our answer. 
the fifth question is minus 8 plus 0 when we add or subtract 0 from any number the difference we get is that number so 8 minus 0 is equal to 8 and the greater number is 8 so we have to put here minus sign now the next question is minus 5 plus minus 2 minus 5 plus minus 2 now here we have to ignore the signs and make addition of these two numbers so 5 plus 2 is equal to 7 and put a minus sign before our number so this is the first question we solve now look at the second question complete the table given below in question number two they gives us this type of table and we have to add all these numbers with the above numbers one by one so for adding these numbers i make a table like this and now we have to add each and every number with the number given in above. So, the first solution that gives us to minus 2 plus 8 is equal to plus 6. We have to write just like this. First write here the numbers given. Now, minus 2 plus 8, the answer is plus 6. When the dif different type of integers are coming for addition, we have to ignore their signs and make subtraction and give the biggest number sign to our difference or our answer so this is the answer for given question now for 6 how can we write it 6 plus 6 plus 8 and the answer is here both numbers are positive so we have to add both numbers 8 plus 6 is 14 and the sign is given here is plus. Now the next number is 0 plus 8. Right here 0 plus 8. The answer is 8. Now minus 4 plus 8. Here 4 is negative number and 8 is positive number. So, how can we find out the answer? We have to subtract a smaller number that is 4 from bigger number that is 8. Means we have to subtract 8 minus 4. The answer is 4 and we have to put the biggest number sign that is plus sign because 8 is a positive number so turn towards 4 look here minus 2 plus 4 minus 2 plus 4 the answer is 2 here we subtract 4 minus 2 and gives biggest numbers sign 
to our difference it is plus sign so this is the answer now 6 plus 4 6 plus 4 is equal to 10 now the next number is 0 plus 4 0 plus 4 is equal to 4 when we add or subtract any number from 0 we get the answer that number the next number is minus 4 plus 4 minus 4 plus 4 the answer is 0 but the sum of two opposite numbers is 0 here this 4 is negative and this 4 is positive so their sum is 0 means 4 minus 4 is equal to 0 now the next digit is minus 3 minus 2 plus minus 3 here we have to ignore the both signs of given integers and just add them that is 2 plus 3 is equal to 5 and we have to give them a common sign that is minus sign look how minus 2 plus minus 3 is equal to minus 2 minus plus minus minus 3 so again minus minus comes we have to make their addition plus 3 and we have to add them 2 plus 3 is 5 and write the common sign to our answer the next number is 6 plus minus 3 6 plus minus 3 plus minus minus so we have to subtract 3 from 6 the answer we get is 3 6 is the biggest number and it have a positive sign so our answer must be positive next is 0 plus minus 3 0 plus minus 3 when we add or subtract 0 from any number the answer we get is that number so our answer is 3 and we have to put minus sign for 3 because 3 have a minus sign so our answer is minus 3 the next number is minus 4 plus minus 3 minus 4 plus minus 3 just ignore the signs of both numbers and add them and put a common sign that is minus now the next digit is minus 5 add minus 2 plus minus 5 minus 2 plus minus 5 ignore the integer sign and just add it add them and we have to put here a minus sign on the left side of our answer next is 6 plus minus 5 6 plus minus 5 when we subtract 5 from 6 we get the answer 1 and here it is it's positive 1 because 6 is a greater number next 0 plus minus 5 0 plus minus 5 plus minus minus so we get here answer is minus 5 now the next number is 
माइनस फोर प्लस माइनस फाइव माइनस फोर प्लस माइनस फाइव जस्ट इग्नोर द बोथ इंटेजर साइन एंड एट दिस टू नंबर्स फोर प्लस फाइव इज नाइन एंड गिव इट टू द कॉमन साइन दिस इज द सोल्यूशन ऑफ अवर प्रैक्टिस सेट फाइव I hope you will understand it. Practice it very well and see you in next video. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.